course there's a lot of danger in what I do, and the consequences are enormous. Everyone's gonna die sometime, might as well be doing something great, you know? You achieve perfection in life, or you fall down by the wayside. People think I have some sort of death wish, that I free YOLO because I'm an adrenaline junkie or some kind of daredevil. I do it because I was born to do it. My name is Max Holder, and I'm a free YOLO playground climber. Max and I were dear friends. You know, we go way back. He's perhaps the greatest free YOLO climber in the world, but you know, what he's attempting now, it's, it's different. It's definitely the most difficult athletic feat that's ever been attempted in human history. When you free YOLO, there's no harness, no ropes. It's just you and the rig. So a rig is any play structure that you can climb, bounce, or slide on. And Unicorn Plaza is a V7 rig with multiple 515s. It's the most difficult rig to free YOLO in the world. Uh, it's scientifically impossible to complete. The, uh, the math and the science behind it just don't check out. Pitch one. Pivot right arm, downswing, left, wrist twist, overhand side pull. Pitch two, lock into attack position, Illuminati triumvirate. Pitch four, misunderstood mountain lion, side grip into a crystal sequence magician squire. Pitch six, grab the rig and fling body into an overhead flying squirrel. Pitch seven, Leviticus 9-11 inside job. You know, he's, he's the best there is and he's kind of a perfect perfect specimen in a Petri dish. When you're on that rig, about two feet in the air, your fingers and shoes clinging onto these quarter inch holds, tiny variations of the plastic, you can't help but think, if I fall right now, I won't survive. I'll 100% explode. It's super dangerous what Max is doing. But you know, I mean, maybe one day he can love me as much as one of those rigs, you know? Oh, Kelsey? Yeah. She's a, she's a super great girl. You know, she's been really helpful in the training process. I think she understands why I have to do what I do. Oh my gosh. Max! Hey. What do you think? This is nice. This is cool. Right? Yeah. It's just on the market. It's me and Max uh, met at his signing for his book, Alone in the Van. Yeah, I mean, technically, we didn't meet at the book signing, but like, right after when she rear-ended me in her jet on the 405. You know, I was just really sick of the dating apps, so I decided to give my Instagram out to any cute guy I saw. It's definitely the most healthy and stable relationship I've ever had. The van never lets a guy down. In our relationship, I tell Max that I love him, and he shows me that he loves me. Everything feels like it might be a last time, and I, I, ju I just can't think like that, though, you know? Because whether or not I tell him I don't want him to do the climb, he, he's going to do it anyway. And I need to be supporting him. Everyone knows what to do if Max falls, right? Uh, yeah, do, uh, like, call 911 or just keep the cameras rolling. <laughs> I cheated on the belt line. I... Shane, do you copy over? Hey, Shane. I don't think I can do all these, all these cameras and stuff. I mean, this is a confirmed bail. 
I can't do this, man. It's it's just too scary with all these people. Sorry. All right, man. We'll see you when you get down. Really want to see him explode. Having Max be home has been amazing. We've been playing Scrabble together and experimenting with pepper jack cheese. I think he's adjusting really well. Pitch 23, autopilot, stop breathing. Pitch 24, good place to take a poop and have a juice box. Pitch 25, Pitch 27, good left thumb in, in half the hole. step, right get up in there, in that Thank hole. Pitch, Pitch 26, it's retrograde, retrograde Aquarius, Aquarius, Equinox. Pitch 29, the bonobos monkey is highly sexual. Okay, so this is a pretty typical morning in the Kelsey Max household. Um, yeah, we've been really starting off with like having our mornings together lately, which has been so refreshing, such a change from the norm. He's really been doing a good job of just sort of like, you know, self-care and like small acts of courage towards himself. And I'm just like so impressed by him. Um, you know, I think our like our mornings together really are affecting that. So, you know, I'm making him breakfast and just like sort of making sure that we, you know, spend like a few minutes together every morning to just like kind of meditate on like gratitude and, uh, our togetherness. Um, Max, honey. Max, good morning! Max? Oh my fucking god! Max! It's happening! He's going, he's going, he's going up right now. He's going up the ring. We need to go. Where are you? Right here. Okay. All right, let's go. Go. Oh my God, there he is. There he is. Go, go, go. Oh. I can't see him. I can't see him. I can't see him. Oh my god! <laughs> 
When they said that it couldn't be 